Hello and welcome to a new webinar short from R&D Systems entitled B7 Related Butyrophilins as Immune Modulators. In this presentation, I will discuss the butyrophilin family, their structural relationships to the B7 family, as well as their potential as immuno-oncology targets themselves. Butyrophilins are a novel class of co-stimulatory, co-inhibitory molecules that are structurally related to the B7 family and appear to have similar immunomodulatory functions. Like the B7s, butyrophilins have extracellular IgC and IgV domains. Some also have an intracellular B30.2 domain. These parallels suggest that the butyrophilins or their receptors may also serve as immuno-oncology drug targets. Recognizing this potential, R&D Systems exclusively offers bioactive, recombinant butyrophilin proteins to further research on these molecules. R&D Systems offers a wide range of recombinant butyrophilin proteins. These include both mouse and human forms, as well as a selection of different tags like FC and HIS. All of the butyrophilins that we offer have been tested for their bioactivity. In the column on the right, you can see up and down arrows that represent the stimulatory or inhibitory effect different butyrophilins have on immune cells in R&D systems assays. Modulation of T-cell function by the B7 family is well known. You are probably aware that R&D systems sells recombinant B7 family proteins and their interacting partners, all of which are tested for bioactivity. The ability of these proteins to modulate T-cell activity is highlighted by the data examples for select family members. Shown are the B7 members suppressing cytokine secretion or proliferation in T-cells. In the top right, you can see that recombinant human pdl one b 7 h one dose-dependently decreases T-cell IL-2 secretion. In the right middle panel, you can see that recombinant mouse VISTA B7H5 also decreases IL-2 secretion in a dose-dependent manner. In the bottom right panel, you can see that recombinant mouse pdl 2 b 7 dc decreases T-cell proliferation. Despite the great interest in B7s, the structurally similar butyrophilins have received much less attention. As mentioned previously, they too have extracellular IgC and IgV domains. Some also have an intracellular B30.2 domain. In addition, as the illustration implies, several have been shown to have inhibitory or stimulatory effects on immune responses. In this slide, we present data from our experiments showing inhibition or stimulation of cytokine secretion in response to select members of the butyrophilin family. In the upper right panel, we can see that recombinant human butyrophilin 2A2 dose-dependently decreases T-cell IL-2 secretion. Conversely, recombinant human butyrophilin 3A2 stimulates a dose-dependent increase in interferon gamma secretion from T-cells, as shown in the middle panel. Finally, in the bottom panel, we see that butyrophilin L6 dose-dependently decreases IL-2 secretion from T cells. Other activity examples reported in the literature include the promotion of FOXP3 expression, suggesting roles in regulatory T cell development. Recent work has also investigated butyrophilin ability to bind phosphoantigens and affect gamma-delta T cell activity. However, fundamental questions still remain. For instance, very little is known about butyrophilin receptors. In an experiment done by R&D system scientists, they show that butyrophilin family member recombinant butyrophilin 3A1, shown in green, exhibits a similar binding to an IgG control protein in naive T cells, shown in purple in the lower right of your screen. However, activation of the T cells results in significantly enhanced binding of butyrophilin 3A1, suggesting the upregulation of a receptor. What the receptor might be remains to be determined. In summary, immuno-oncology is one of the hottest areas in cancer therapeutics. The question remains whether butyrophilins might be good targets for immune checkpoint-based therapeutics. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this short presentation on butyrophilins. Remember to check the website for updated listings of new proteins. Also, if you have questions, Feel free to contact us.